Hi, my name is John Pereira, owner of New York Kite Center. I want to talk to you today about harness choice. We got a lot of different harnesses here. First, I'm going to show you a little bit about the waist harness. A good waist harness is going to have a series of straps, allows you to tighten the harness around your waist, and also typically has a strap to keep the harness from riding up. However, a waist harness is always going to continue to ride up because there's no leg straps to help keep it down. If I connect here to a bar, it'll help show you a bit of how the waist harness is going to react when you're actually hooked up to a kite bar. As you can see, that as I lean against the bar, it's going to rise up into my ribs. This is a problem that people have with waist harnesses because as a beginner, you might have the kite up high and it's going to continuously rise up into your ribs. It might cause issues with breathing or just comfort. As an advanced rider, however, the harness can move a little bit which can give you better body position for riding in toe side or even riding in blind position. In particular, riding in the waves, having a waist harness will help you so that you can get good body position. All right, I'm now wearing a seat harness. You can see that this type of harness is going to come across here and has leg straps so that it's going to prevent the harness from riding up. This harness is going to be particularly good for beginners. When you have the kite high in the air, it's not going to be rising the harness up into your ribs. So you can see that when I lean back against the bar here, it's not actually getting up into my ribs or restricting my breathing or my movement. However, as an advanced rider, you might find it a bit restrictive when trying to ride in different body positions. You can see that the harness is not going to move, so that's going to make it a bit more difficult one of the major issues that people have with seat harnesses is that they feel a bit like a diaper with all this material and they feel a little bit uncomfortable. So there are some other options for you that I want to go over next. Here's another example of a seat harness. In this case, they're built directly into a pair of shorts. Again, you're going to have the leg straps inside the shorts here that are going to prevent the harness from rising up. So when I lean back against the harness, it's still going to stay in position, but instead of having a large bulky seat harness, you have them built into these shorts, which are a little bit less material, a little bit more streamlined. All right, I'm now wearing the Ion B2 harness. This is my personal harness of choice. Uh, I've been wearing a seat harness for a while because I have rib issues, so I can't have the harness rising into my ribs. I did, however, feel quite limited by a seat harness. So what I've done here is I've added on a product called the Dynabar. It's a sliding spreader bar and allows the harness from, to slide from side to side, which allows better body position. So this has really helped me out for riding toe side, riding in the waves, even riding in blind position. And it's been a big improvement in my riding. I highly recommend adding a Dynabar to your seat harness to give yourself more maneuverability. Uh, if you have any more questions, please contact us. You contact me directly and I will answer any question that you have.